Hello, my fellow wizarding pupils. As you know, due to recent events, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry has been unable to host classes and events. But due to the brilliant mind and inspiration of Mr. Harry Potter himself, hey, I know that, we have devised our own way to teach each other magic until school, you know, opens again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was really nice. Oi! So since Potter had Dumbledore's army, what are we gonna be called? Oh, um, you're right. We do need a name. Well, anyone have any bright ideas? You know who this new kid is? What new kid? What? Are you bloody blind? That one. Oh, no, I've never seen that bloke in my entire life. I heard they're squib. Oh, hello to you. Hello. Did we ask? I thought you were trying to be better about interrupting other people's conversations. Yeah? Oh, shove it. You want to know more about this new bloke or what? What do you know? Quite a bit, actually. My father works for the ministry, yeah? And he told me that our little Neve's parents over here were deaf ears. Kept him in from the world all these years. I reckon it's because he lacked any magical ability. Rather embarrassing, isn't it? Being one of the Dark Lord's bitches and your child being magically impaired, yeah? They don't look like a child of a Death Eater. They never do, mate. They never do. Aren't they American now? Well, you stupid. Death Eaters have existed all across the world, you bint. Now, shall we start with introductions? Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm from Ravenclaw. Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm from Hufflepuff. What's good? I'm John, from Gryffindor, which means I'm smart all you cunts. That's about it. All right. Hi, um, my name is Avery, and I am an exchange student from Ilmory, and obviously I'm a Slytherin. You operating with him again? What? No, it's not like I choose to. McGonagall makes me, because they can't do it for the bloody selves. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Shove off. They're coming over. Scram. You don't have to tell me twice. Hey, Avery. What are you looking at? It, it was nothing. I just, I just thought that I saw something. Bitch, are you schizophrenic? Don't come any closer! That a stick? What? No, it's a- Who are you? Uh, who are you? This is my house. Well, I- Oblivion! You mental or something? No shit. And mind telling me where all your little friends went off to? They seem to have, well, disappeared. Quite literally, in fact. Mind explaining that? Shit. Shit. That's Shit! Destination deliberation. Destination determination deliberation. Destination. Need me to call someone? Shit. And I'm still waiting Shit. for an explanation about the stick. Shit. And an explanation about your friend's disappearance. In fact, I'm far more interested in the disappearances than the stick. So perhaps we should start there. Are your friends magicians? What? A what? Magicians. The blokes with wands who can make themselves disappear and whatnot? Well, yeah, magicians. Hey! Wait, where are you going? Finding a way out. You can't just leave. This is my house. Hey! Look, I've still got questions. How did you and your little buddies get in my house? How'd they disappear? Why are you always carrying around a stick? And why aren't you telling me anything? It, it doesn't matter. You can't know, so move. Ooh, so bossy. You broke into my house. I reckon I deserve some answers here, yeah? We were learning. Teaching? I don't know. It was a dumb idea to begin with. It wasn't my doing. Okay, but why in my house? There's schools for that, you know? I know. It's complicated. I'm sure I can keep up. No, you can't. 
Besides, you're not allowed to. And it's none of your business anyway. Fine. I'll get it out of you eventually. But until then, you're not permitted to leave. What? You're a criminal. Breaking and entering and whatnot. Can't just let you off the hook. And since you don't seem exactly a threat, I'm staying with you until you explain yourself. Don't patronize me. I don't need it from someone like you. Ouch. Someone like me? Hurts a bit there, mate. Like I care? You're the one holding me captive. Hmm. As I remember, you sort of invited yourself in first, so... Not funny, and it wasn't my fault. Oh, what? Not a magician like all your other little friends? Hmm? Will you shut up? Oh, I've struck a nerve, yeah? You're not a magician? You haven't struck anything. I'm just sick of hearing you talking, and I want to leave. Fine. Leave. But if I ever find you here again, I won't hesitate to annoy you senselessly. Wait, you're letting me go? Yeah, now beat it before I change my mind. Right, good. What, suddenly lost the enthusiasm? No, I do wish to leave. Then see you around. Toodaloo, fare thee well, off you go. Fine! Looks like you're walking then. Piss off! I can give you a head start. I'll tell you where you're at currently. Yeah, where are we? Manchester, England. Obviously, by the sound of your accent, you're from the States. Do you live around here? Yeah, but I live in Wilshire with my parents. That's about three hours, mate. So, I assume if you're walking, it'll be a bit longer. But, you don't understand. I have to get back to Scotland. That's where my school's located. School? It's summer, mate. You should be on holiday. Well, the school year was cut short, I guess. What does it matter to you, anyway? It's not every day some random bloke breaks into your house and all his little friends disappear. I've got to retain all the knowledge I can. Whatever. Unless you have one of those automobile things and you're no help to me. No help? I just told you your location, gave you an umbrella and a jacket. I reckon that's a bit of help. Wh whatever, I won't expect a mu uh, you to understand. What were you about to call me? Uh, nothing. Switch your pen Were you about to call me a slur? What? No! Was it some vulgar insult I don't know about? A mug? I told you it was nothing. Will you ever stop with the constant questions? My questions are valid, considering how mysterious you've been acting. That's on you. It's not of your concern anyway. Now, how long is here to Scotland? I don't know. I've never been to Scotland. Don't you have a map or something? What is that? What? That in your hand. Uh, my phone? I'm pulling up a map. Oh. God, you must have been one of those weird reclusive kids. Have you never seen a phone? Uh, no. Of course I have. Yours just looks different than mine. It'll take 4 hours and 51 minutes by trolley. 88 if you want to walk, though. It'll be a hell of a workout. Um, so where's the nearest spot? Not that far, actually. Just up the block a bit. Okay, lead the way. I'm gonna get back as soon as possible. So, what now? What time does the train come? Um, right, yeah. Little problem. Well, what do you mean? Well, don't be cross, but it looks like the train isn't running today. Or ever. What? Hey, it's not my fault. It's not like I ride the train particularly often. <sighs> Shit. No, come on. Cheer up. There's other means. Like what? Well, there's always walking 88 hours. Such shit. Oh, shush. Someone will pick us up eventually. Or we'll come across a bus or something. Come on, man. Don't be such a sap. You know what? I am a sap. You know why? Because I'm stuck far away from home and I'm traveling with you. Shouldn't have come in the first place then. It wasn't my choice. It was a stupid school club thing. Right. Yeah. In my house. Whatever. I can't explain it. So why don't you even bother? Don't think I'm just gonna let this whole ordeal go. 
I will find out why you were in my bloody house one way or another. Yeah, sure. I'd like to see you try. Boy, you probs want to leave. So where are you two pretty little blighters head to? Platinum Laces Gentlemen's Club, perhaps? Oh, that's my favourite place, man. Um, tempting, but no. Perhaps the nearest bus station, or maybe a quick drive to Scotland? We don't have much to pay you, though, but perhaps a lovely day trip is pay enough? Hmm, I see. And what does your little friend think? Right on there with me, or the bus. Um, I don't care. I suppose if you don't mind, we can ride with you. Less of a hassle. <laughs> wise choice, my friends. Very wise. All right, buckle up. Long ride on us, yeah? Oh, I'm not going to make it home. I'm going to give you a face. Oi! So since... <laughs> oh, Action! <laughs> that bloke in my entire life, I said that too loud. Action! I heard their squib. What are you now? And he tells me what... <laughs> I'm just going to my phone and to the mystery. And he told me that our little noob's parents were deaf eaters. Go. Rather... Damn it. Rather embarrassing... Fun. <laughs> Go. Aren't they American now? Actually, They're lesbians, mate. <laughs> <laughs> get I'll him in. Get him in here. Let me say this. Oh, well, you stupid. Wait, can you see me if I'm sitting like this? <laughs> yeah. You're still in the shot. Action. Hi, I'm from Jamie. <laughs> your name is Jamie. <laughs> and you're from Ravenclaw. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm a Hufflepuff. Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm from... H Hi, I'm Alexis. Dainty. Do I look that dainty? Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm from Hufflepuff. No, it's not like I choose to. McGonagall makes me. Because they can't do it for the- Action. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I can't walk out. Okay. Action. Two pretty little blighters here too. Platinum. Wait. Action. So where are you two pretty little blighters here too? Platinum laced. Fuck. Platinum. Action. Hmm. Ice. Goddamn. 